Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun coming at you with the 100th video, the 100th old school comic haul video. So thanks, there's some, I have some YT friends that actually watched every one as it was coming out. And I just want to thank you for that. Uh, it's been it's maybe like a year and in, in, in three or four months on this slow journey of doing YouTube videos about comics and releasing my music whenever I feel like it. And I just want to thank you for being cool to me. And you get an absolute no prize for watching this. <laughs> a Stanley no prize. How do you like that? Okay, so first up, 1967 by uh, DC Comics, Doom Patrol. 113. I got a bunch of Doom Patrol. I kind of paid up for them at you know at the LCS, but they were there in front of me. And I'm really happy that I got this. Um I love I love this older stuff. You know, I paid up for it on comic book day. And a lot of this stuff just goes into the chaotic uh The chaotic comic book area. I call it the backed up back issue area. But yeah, it's uh it's definitely fun. Although cheap comic collector is starting to get older comics like this on a really good price, and he's offering them at a really good price too. Okay, 1976. Marvel Double Feature, number 16. Reprinting some older older stuff, some older Kirby stuff. Um, before my eyes, Nick Fury died. It should have rhymed, though. It should have said, before my eyes, Nick Fury dies. But look at this beautiful, beautiful art by Gene Colon. Look at that. Wow. And I got this, I think, at a half-price book. Uh, no, no, no. I think I got this from Dave. My friend Dave. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Gotta love it. Okay, this one um, I might have shown on What's in the Box a long time ago, but it ended up going into the back-to-back uh, -back issue area by mistake. It's 1996, The Crow, number one. Um, it's got some, uh, it's by Kitchen Sink, which I love. It's got some spine uh, ticks, but um, yeah, dude. I think uh, Sequential Geek, if you're out there, man, hope everything's cool. Um, he got me into this, looking at his older videos. It is beautiful. But yeah, I got this on, on the cheap. Oh, no, I got that from Dave too. Yeah, that's from my friend Dave. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> now this one I got on the cheap. Uh, 1989. Well, I got it on the cheap from Dave too. So don't... <laughs> this I got for a quarter. Uh, 1989. Uh, Earth 4. Number one, Continuity Comics, which is Neil Adams' uh, company. And I just grab the stuff when I see it. <laughs> Crazy Man is coming. Um, I love most of <laughs> Continuity Comics. Sometimes it's crazy. But yeah, dude, it's for a quarter. And who knows? Maybe these properties will take off someday. They always have a decent advertisement in the inside uh, cover. But that, yeah, that's uh, that's neat. Okay, it's from uh, 1993. We got some Ron Lim art. Heavy Hitters, Dragon Line from Epic. Um, 
you know, Epic was is secretly Marvel. It's got that raised uh, feel to it, so it's that early '90s goodness. And you get some good uh, Ron Lim art. But heavy hitters, I like them. I when I see them, you know, it seems like they they did put some decent artists on. Uh, Ron Lim. Is def this is, I think, his earlier work, but yeah, he, he was doing, uh, what was it? Um, Strike Force uh, Moratori is what, he, what he, he was doing at the end there. Then he went to this, maybe? I don't know. But it's cool. Dragon Lines. What do you think of that? Okay, 1993, um, Hardware, number one. I saw this. I got some other ones, too, I think, are still in the plastic, um, somewhere in the chaotic area of the room. But um, this is Dennis Cohen art. Seems like they cared about what they were doing when, when they re um, released this issue. I don't know if it's his first appearance or not. Pretty cool. 1973. Marvel Spectacular number five. The Thor is in there. It could be reprints, right? This is the uh, the main man, right? Jack Kirby that pretty much almost single-handedly created the Marvel Universe. Um, and you guys, you could, you could find this stuff on the on the cheap, I think. This might be reprints, right? Pretty cool, though. He created Galactus. Pretty cool. I love it. This looks awesome. God, I love that I can get this. Very cool. Okay, I found this for a quarter. I have no clue why it was in the quarter bin. It's a modern comic from Image, but it's Gunslinger uh, 15, Breath, uh, Brett Booth. I have nothing against uh, Spawn. It's not really my thing, but I know that this is a, a really popular, amazing run that had uh, Brett Booth in it, so I don't know why I got this for a quarter. It's amazing that this was two ninety nine and had the uh, cardstock cover, right? You got to hand it to McFarlane for that. Like he's not, he's not gutting everybody. <laughs> Maybe that's his way of competing still. Okay, nineteen eighty five, uh, New Mutants twenty seven, Bill Sienkiewicz. I collect New Mutants, especially his era. Um, it's a newsstand. Got this at a half price books for a couple bucks. Sometimes half price isn't that great <laughs> if you're not getting uh, 50 cent comics. But this is cool. Into the Abyss. Okay, 1994 by New England Comics. It's The Tick. Number four, Karma Tornado. You know what I paid for it? Um, I, You know, I see The Tick now, the early ticks. <laughs> I get it, dude. I get this on the cheap. I'm very happy. I might collect the, these, but I'm definitely going to grab them when I see them for quarters, you know? I'm a pretty big fan of The Tick. I should watch both uh, shows. The first show had a season or two. The second show had a season, something like that. Okay, 2007's uh, 
Brave and the Bold, the first issue. Pretty cool. With uh, Batman and Green Lantern, I got that for a quarter. I'm not gonna complain about that. In DC, normally what they do is like, when they ever they relaunch or start something, it's like the first six months are gonna be kick butt. And then it kind of like, you know, peters out of it. <laughs> That's what they, and it happens like every like six years or something. DC's like, we're back with the classics. And everyone goes nuts and loves it. Every issue's great. And then six months later, you know, or seven or whatever, eight, they're like, yeah, this one's, this is not as good. <laughs> I don't know why that happens with DC. But whatever, right? I got this for a quarter and I'm pretty impressed with that. It's a modern comic that <clears throat> came out like in, I think, 2000, 2020 or 21 or something. But, uh, Swamp Thing 15, uh, cardstock variant for a quarter. Um, I heard this was a really good series by Rom V, too. He did some uh, interesting stuff with the character. Maybe it was a new character or something. I don't know. But, yeah. For a quarter? Why, why was this in the in the quarter bin. Wow. 1976. Doctor Strange 15. Some more uh, Gene Colon goodness for you. Yay. Little Doom Patrol. <laughs> I love that cover. Okay, 1989 from Apple Comics, Time Jump War. Saw that for a quarter. I'm into my science fiction action now. I kind of like it weird. I know there's like the adventure type science fiction that, you know, cowboy in space type stuff, which is pretty cool. I guess it could be done well, but I still, I like, I like it when it's more like imaginative and strange and, but the art looks really good here. But for a quarter, you guys, come on. Time Jump War. Okay, I've been collecting this. And I found this in a, in a dollar bin. No, no. I found this in a quarter bin. 1994. Will to Power, number one, by Dark Horse Comics. It's, uh, I, they have great art in here. I should check the artist. Brian Apthrop. <laughs> guess that's Brian Apthrop. Maybe they changed artists mid, mid, um, midway through this or something. I remember it being a little different. That's interesting. Maybe it's a different series, but hey, for a quarter. Whatever. 1980, Fantastic Four, 227. I might have this already. Um, I might have gotten this from Dave. Bill Sienkiewicz art. Pretty cool. Nineteen eighty-three, E-Man, number five. <laughs> Chasing Donald Clown. It's the Psycho Babbler. <laughs> Pretty cool. Here's your advertisement for your first. Nice uh, white pages.
1975, Atlas Comics, <clears throat> Iron Jaw, number one. I guess uh, 1975 is Atlas Comics year, so I should just remember that because I don't think they were out that long. But it looks, it looks pretty cool. Okay, 2008 uh, by Rude Comics, right? The Rude Dude, Steve Rude, has his own publishing company maybe at this time. I don't know, but that's the 100th issue. This is a, a double for me. Some uh, classic art in there. I don't know if it's a reprint. Maybe not. Probably not, right? But it gives you a history of, of Nexus. So this will be going into the... The doubles area, okay, 1985, Thor 356 uh, with uh, Hercules punking him, <laughs> which you know Thor wouldn't really have that. Jackson Geis does the art. Another Dave special, I think. Nineteen ninety four, out of the vortex number nine, dark horse. Uh, maybe that's the one I was thinking about with the art. I don't know. Yeah, most likely. Pretty cool. Got this for a quarter, I think. Nineteen eighty one, Captain America, two sixty five, more Mike Zett goodness, great cover, LCS pickup, cool Spidey appearance. Nineteen eighty six, ESPers number three. I think it's the original uh, series, mini series, Eclipse Comics, Filthy Fifty Center. Looking good. There's my guy Emmanuel, the Scout. Got some terror on the left of him. Yeah, ESPers is looking good. I'll be putting this together for a read. Excellent. Okay, 1973. <clears throat> Marvel Superheroes 37. I think we got some Roy Thomas art in there. Wow. Did I already show that? Might have. King Kirby, guys. Wow. Man. 1978, uh, Captain Marvel 57. Where Broderick does the pencils and Wyatt does the inks. And it's looking pretty tight. I got this on eBay, I think. I got that other one for an, on eBay, too. For two or three bucks, maybe. Definitely worth it. Wow. Okay, you guys, that's it. Please click in the description. The trade with me, check out my blog spot. Check out how it's growing. 
uh, click around for other channels that I interact with. Um, and yeah, I'm out. See you on Wednesday too, right? For uh, chaotic comic book cover displays and more with friends. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for being here. Bye.